Hi, Josh here with the St. Louis Science Center with Science Off Center team with another experiment that you can try at home. This one has to do with light. So what you'll need is first of all a flashlight. You will need a piece of paper. Now you'll notice I put targets on mine. You don't really need to, but it helped me. And you will also need three to four little mirrors kind of like this. Now if you can't find these, CDs work just as well. And you will also need at least six clothespins. And so your goal to set this experiment up is to get mirrors to stand up like this. So I'll show you on a CD. Just take your clothespins, put them on the bottom, and it makes a nice little stand. that can hold the mirror up most of the time. So then with your piece of paper, all you need to do is fold it in half and you want to make a nice good crease so that it stands up by itself. So now the goal here is to set up your piece of paper, shine the light on one side of the piece of paper, and then using the mirrors bounce the light around so that the light hits the other side of the piece of paper. So try this out and see how you do. Alright, so this is what our initial setup should look like. You've got your flashlight pointing at one side of the paper but not the other. Now remember the goal is to bounce the light around to hit this side. So this is one solution that you can do with four mirrors. So position your first mirror right in front of the target at an angle and your second mirror similar angle and then I'm using my CD and last but not least my fourth mirror and you can see the light is hitting the other side of the paper so the light beam bounces off of the mirrors we call that reflection and the way it's coming, it's coming straight in, bouncing off, coming this way, bouncing off again, coming this way, bouncing off the CD, onto this mirror, and then to the back of the piece of paper. So remember, this is one solution. Try this at home and see if you can come up with something else. See if you can use maybe three mirrors. Uh, try it at home and let us know how it works at scienceoffcenter.org.